Hi there, I am Tracy Otsuka and I run a self-development company called Cartography. And what we do is we teach our students how to make great major life decisions. And it all starts with getting crystal clear on the fact that they are the only expert on themselves. So I was watching 60 Minutes last night and Jennifer Lawrence was one of the guests. And I don't know who Jennifer Lawrence is, meaning that I don't typically watch her movies. In fact, I don't think I've ever watched one of them. I think my kids may have watched The Hunger Games, but I have to tell you, she was so delightful. And, um, you know, she tells this story about how she just was awful in school. Like that was just not her thing. All she did was kind of make up stories and she loved to dress up and she was always acting. And she tells one story of how she went to her teacher and told her teacher she had a wooden leg. So her whole class thought she had a wooden leg. And when her mom came in for their parent teacher conference, the teacher told her, her mom, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about Jennifer's wooden leg. Well, obviously she was lying, but that's just what she did. That's how she got through. And so um, what Jennifer always wanted to do was she wanted to act and she just in her gut from the time she was little, she knew this is what I meant to do. This is my superpower, it's acting. And so she kept trying to convince her parents to take her out to New York to audition. And they wouldn't have anything, you know, they wouldn't have it. But she just never gave up. She just kept on them that this is what she wanted to do. So finally, I think when she was 14, they said, OK. And she went out to New York City um, for an audition. And I think it was for what was it called? Winter's Bone. Um, and she got the role and I think she ended up getting an Academy Award nomination for it. But at 14, she got that role. She ended up dropping out of school um, when she was in seventh or eighth grade to pursue acting. So she has never been trained as an actress. She just it was it was what she said she was always meant to do. And she says that her superpower is empathy. That's what you know, she's just really great at just getting into that role, becoming that character, empathizing with who that character is. And we all know she's a phenomenal actress. And so it just got me thinking about how from the time she was little, she had so much confidence about this is what she needs to do. And unfortunately, most of us are not that confident. We don't have that calling at that young of an age. So what do we do when we're not like Jennifer Lawrence? How do we develop that confidence? And I think what it is, is we need a plan, right? We need to put a plan together. And that plan starts with figuring out who is it that we really are? What is it that we're really passionate about? What are our superpowers? What are we better at than just about anybody else? And where do we think? our purpose might live. You know, what neighborhood, what lights us up, what makes us happy? And those are the things that we do at Cartography. You know, we build that plan. So number one, you need that blueprint of who is it that you are exactly. And then from there, you need the roadmap, right? And the roadmap tells you where you're going. And then you need it. Oh, I'm so sorry. My it's my husband's iPad. I apologize. Um, and so then you need it all in writing. So you're not constantly reinventing the wheel. So the next time you have a major life decision to make, you know how to make it, right? So um, in that way, what's going to happen is you're going to make decisions that are relevant to who it is that you are. They're not just going to be decisions based on what your parents tell you to do or what your friends are doing or what your boyfriend tells you you're supposed to be doing or what society tells you is good and noble and um Again, what you're supposed to do. So that's what we do at Cortography. I just thought of Jennifer Lawrence um, and I just love that she had all that confidence and it was there from a young age because our purposes, the seeds of them, they're there from the minute we're born. And the deal is that, you know, you can go and try a bunch of things and, and that's the path. I mean, often that's what we have to do. But what if you had a sense, a really strong sense of who it is that you really are, what it is that's important to you, what do you value, what do you love, and you start out with that foundation, 
And then when you're going to try these various things, at least you're in the neighborhood of where you need to be. It really can save decades. So anyway, if you want more information about cartography, um, I'm going to pop a link in there. And um, I see Lynette. Hi, Lynette. Um, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.